Hello everybody, I am Benjamin Magnus, and welcome to Total War Three Kingdoms. Now, I wasn't necessarily planning on playing this game, um, but I received a press code for it in my email the other day, and I decided to give it a shot. I've been a pretty vocal opponent of the Total War games for the past couple of years. I've been a huge fan from Shogun 1 all the way through Shogun 2, which <laughs> doesn't seem like a lot, but there's a lot of games in between there. Uh, but I was not a big fan of Rome 2. I was not a big fan of the Warhammer games. Um, but I played this for a very brief period of time, and I liked what I saw. I liked the level of depth. I liked the polish that I saw much better than Rome 2 when it first came out. It was... We're not going to get into that. But anywho, um, there's going to be a lot of, of yakking and talking at the top here. I'll put a time code in the description below, or I'll just flash it on the screen here. So you can skip ahead to the action if you want to. But like I said, I've only... I literally only played six turns. Yeah, six turns as Cow Cow there. And, uh, then, and then decided that I really liked what I saw, but I wanted to kind of learn to play the game live, like as we go. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start a new game. And after looking through the starts i decided that i was going to go with one of the outlaws uh i found um i think it's chang yan there i i per forgive my chinese poor tongue but I, i'm sure that the comment section and the in-game audio will help me with that as time goes by china is people not its oppressive warlords between the light of the civilized han and the chaos of opportunistic banditry. Chang Yan straddles the twilight. He sees the carnage wrought by Dong Zhuo and wonders how this can be turned to his advantage. Oh, okay, I thought that was going to keep going through that. Um, but like I said, we're, there's probably going to be a, a, a lot of talking and watching cutscenes and stuff for the first few minutes here, so you can always skip ahead of that if you don't want to see it. But I'm going to let the, the computer talk, and I'm going to talk a lot about Total War and things like that, but we'll get to the game eventually. I picked this character because I liked the kind of alt strategy it suggests here. Um... Let's see, do 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 can improve relations with the yellow turbans, where they're like the rebels. I do not know much about the Three Kingdoms period, so hopefully we'll learn a little bit as we're doing this. But Ambush. I liked the idea of a faction, or a governor, or whatever you want to call it, that was uh, kind of specialized in ambush tactics. I thought that sounded really cool. Also, what is this? A Black Mountain Hideout. It's a government building. Increases public order, admin limit, Diplo relations with the Han Empire factions, or army force limit and loot income, or... Okay, so it's probably tier one, and then you get to spec into different tier as you build the building. But, uh, oh, one other thing. I know that there is this Romance of the Three Kingdoms um, version of the game to play, where it kind of plays a lot uh, out a little more um, fantasy-driven. Uh, the generals are, you know, are, are dynasty warriors, ubermensch units, and they can duel and things like that. Um, personally, my my personal taste is the the more historical side of things. So we are going to be on records of the Three Kingdom, which means your generals come with bodyguards. They're not just out there as Dynasty Warrior characters. So that's what we're going to go with. So I do apologize if you like the Romance of the Three Kingdoms kind of mode. I will do a series on that as well. I just wanted to try this one first because that's my personal taste on it. So let's get started. Embers rise, stark against the night. The tyrant Dong Zhuo wields the flames of destruction. Luo Yang burns. Chaos ignites as the power of the Unix is crushed. In the pyre, the Han falters. All this has happened before. History ebbs and flows. Imperial life means naught to Zhang Yan. It left him with nothing. For coin or for glory, the Black Mountain Bandits will fight. Also, I like the name of the fact, the Black Mountain Bandits. China is in turmoil. The great empire of the Han, stretching back ages beyond counting, is being devoured by corruption. The yellow turbans, thousands strong, began raising their banners in rebellion and seizing commanderies across the realm. In response, generals loyal to the emperor rose up and put down the rebellion. Commanderies are basically like states, I think. 
Luo Yang. Nothing but ashes now. Raised by Dong Zhuo. He is a despicable dog. But the matters of nobles are not my problem. He has kidnapped the Emperor, my lord. And drags China into chaos. There are other problems. Their yellow turbans rise, zealous as ever. Their crazed belief is mad, just as mad as Dong Zhuo's. And this coalition, it is feeble and will remain feeble with Yun Shao as leader. What have they accomplished under him? Nothing. He lacks strength. There are other bandits, other warriors. Jian Zhong is a fiery sword. Selfish, always hounding glory, but strong and dependable. I would sooner her than those vainglorious nobles. May you descend from the Black Mountains, John Yen, one million strong, and sweep away the foolish and the unworthy. A little choppy there, but I can turn down the graphics probably. I got them up pretty high right now. Establish your power. So this is my current mission. I kind of wish I could drag and drop these so I can kind of move it off to the side. But Lord, uh, uh, okay, so she kind of pronounced it like um, uh, Zhang Yang, I think. The warlords of China have descended into civil war. Perhaps the time has come for you to descend from the mountains and make yourself known. Opportunity is found in chaos if you have the strength to seize it. You have found allies in the warlords before, and there may be more to be found with the strongest of them. Yet... Any who oppose you, even the tyrant himself, must be crushed by the power of the Black Mountain Bandits. Claim the Han Empire regions. Be wary of uh, Zhang Jiang. Oh, we got a couple of these, it looks like. The bandits seek their enemies and strike them down. Though you have raided far and wide with great success, the enemy is now upon us. The Han are intent on seeing you answer for your so-called crimes against the Empire. It is time to raise our banner and ride as one. We must defend ourselves against this attack. Get our, let's see. So engage the following army. So we okay. This is going to be like little tutorial battle here. Engage the general's army in battle. Yeah, yeah. We'll turn the graphics down a little bit. This is a little chuggy. Thirty military supplies and faction wide and five morale. Okay, so and ancillary is gained. So I got a book of songs and a scholar. We'll take a look at those in a second. But real quick here, I'm just going to put in a quick cut and change some graphical settings. All right, that's a little bit better. So we got a little army right here. Sprout ever upwards to heaven. And we've got a little enemy army right here. So let's see, what do we got with us? We've got our. Oh, you know what? I can. Stand as tall hmm. as a how tree, I... united as a forest. Axe. Oh, here we go. I was going to say, how do I access his personal information? So I've got my dual war axes, my sweet, sweet armor. Oh, and the little number there is the uh, items you have available to you. I have a follower I can assign to him, which I will do right now. Plus four cunning and plus 10% character experience. We're going to equip him. And I have two accessories. What is this? That's an iron snake, plus six expertise and plus six satisfaction. Authority, satisfaction, and morale of my army. I'm going to go ahead and assign this to you. There we go. And then I also have this guy. What do you wish to know? Here we go. And he does not have any followers, but I don't have any extra. But he, we do have an extra um, accessory here, so he can use my snake. Expertise and satisfaction. There we go. All right, what else do we have available? Uh, army action. Okay, so army action points available. Yes. This is my commandery. Okay, this is basically like my little state here. It's telling me I have building slots available. But I think what we'll do first is why don't we handle China our first key. little battle? If a battle looks like it will fall in your favor, you may pass on command to one of your subordinates so you can concentrate on. Oh, he's only got 200 men. Yeah, well, we're going to fight this just so that we can we can look at the glory of the battle. Uh, you know, our, of our enemies face planning. Um, no blood, no gore. We should move quickly. Once we are done here, we can move on. Uh, Total War has been doing this for a while where they take that out of the game and then they release it as like a 3 or 4 or $5 DLC later under the guise of, hey, we wanted this to be a, you know, a PG-13 title. So we can't have any blood and gore in it. And, you know, it's really just to sell the DLC. But that's okay. All right, so this is... Okay, cool. This is our baddie. He's got... He's just a horseman, right? 
So he's got... That's him. Yang Biao. We got Mounted Lancer Militia and... Mounted Lancer Militia. Okay. So, let's see. What do we have? We've got some cool dudes over here. Waiting in the waiting in the wings. So these are some halberd infantry. So those would probably be really good against ah. horsemen. They've got these long uh, pike weapons. And we got some more over here on the other side. And I did I put the unit size on extreme just because that's what I I really like seeing large. When I'm fighting a battle, I like seeing you know big huge battlefields. I love that. Uh, and then over here we've got our our mounted lancers. And our generals. Oh, the guys are kind of cool looking. They, they, they have... they got these double axes, yeah. Alright, so. Ideally, what we want to do is engage them. I mean, this is actually a, a, a perfectly fine setup. I'll move a little bit of this around. Here, let, let's grab... Mounted Light Lancer Militia. Just going to put those... I think they're facing the wrong direction on that. Are you facing the right way? You guys facing the right way? Yeah. Right there, we're gonna grab these two. I'm gonna bring them up the up on this side. You know, so they're a little more proper surrounded like. And what we're just going to do is charge everybody in there and eat their faces. What uh in the one battle I did fight, I felt like the combat was very quick. That's something that's been in Total War games for quite a while, is the battles. They used to kind of be a slog, like, you know, the front lines would engage, and they'd fight for a while, and you'd have time to kind of, like, tactically figure out what you want to do. Now they're over really quick, and it's usually kind of something modders hit later on. But why don't we go ahead and get started and just watch this. Really? We're just gonna... I was to say, we're just gonna get in there and eat it, and, and, and charge, just charge straight into this. hee <laughs> hee. Beautiful. Watch this. Then the wing to saws arrived. Wait, are they already running? They're already running. One step closer to victory. Yeah, he's already he's already out 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 of the battlefield. So let's make sure we kind of try to chase him down. Yeah, see what I mean? That was over in a hot... I mean, it was an ambush. They were getting hit from every side, but that was over in a hot second. Chase them over the hills! Get them! Knock them down! Come on, come on. That's a baddie right there. It's kind of running around in circles, aren't they? Get them! I want to. I want to see these. What are they doing? Come on. Yep. 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 You got him. You got him. We're not. How many? This. What do you got? You got nine guys left. Beautiful, isn't it? Try to do as smooth as smooth a pan we can. It looks like they're actually catching up. Yeah, get them! <laughs> That's the baddie! I know I could end it right here, but I want to run every single one of them down. Come on, come on, come on. Are we, we going to actually be able to... Oh, there we go. I was about to say. We're actually going to be able to get them? There we go. All right, that's it. It's just a couple of horsemen that are running. Claim victory. Decisive victory. I mean, I shouldn't. I I I shouldn't, you know, say anything about that. Because I mean, it's the starting one. It's 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 the kitty battle at the at the very start. Justice cannot be denied. All right, I gained. Oh, did that like cover up what I gained there? Uh, so, so that was basically ducats. That was money. 
So I can uh, ransom off the captured troops, I can seize them for military supplies, or I could just recruit them into my army. I think I'm just going to ransom them back. For money. The bandits seek their enemies and uh, strike them down. We get a taste of victory. Huzzah! Mission issued. Um, Zhang, 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 Zhang Yan, that's what we're going to go with, decides to descend from his mountain home. With the regional forces defeated, the nearby Han settlement is now vulnerable. Why not seize it, solidify your control over this territory, and declare that any actions taken against you will have far-reaching consequences? Capture and occupy the following settlement, the um, Yanmen Lumberyard. We'll get support of the people. So that is just over here. Glorious victory. Bonus experience of 1,350 for Zhang Yan. Let's see. Yes, we mission issued. Character gains in rank. That's me. We ranked up. Okay, so we'll do that. Mission success. We read that. Mission issued. Establish my power. And we gained... An oh, that was from before. Okay, so... I leveled up. So I'll right-click him. And I have two points to spend, actually. Okay, so let's see here. Now, th this is, I believe, all we have to work from. This is not... Yeah, it's not like there's different, uh, different tabs in here. But let's see here. Endurance. Let's see. Resolve. Minus 50% attrition for military supply shortage when commanding. Enables fatigue resistance for my own retinue. Champion, resolve, uh, instinct, and a charge bonus. Flexibility, minus 25% redeployment cost. 5%, ooh, 5% re replenishment. I'm going to go ahead and take that one. Instinct enables scare. And what do we got here? Reach, plus one available armies, 20, ooh, and that one as well. 25% campaign movement range. Apply that. Excellent. So this general is in the same army with me. That's this guy right here. So these are my troops. These are his troops. And these are just characters at court. We'll get into those later. What do we got here? We've got, this is our army. Army action points available. So what is an, a I wonder if an action point is just, um, I got like a cool little mountain doodle there. It's probably just saying I have, you know, movement points available. So why don't we go ahead and see how far we can go? Toward glory. How far can I get? And on. Oh, so, oh, I think this is the, how far I can get. Okay. Yeah, so now the action point is gone. The action point was a movement. What do we got here? So those are my supplies. Action points available. Number of action points represents an army's movement uh, extent and its ability to traverse terrain or to switch its stances. Stalking. Oof. Okay, so that's the zoom button. I don't think we can get all the way over here. No, we can't. Very unfriendly. Yeah, I'll say. I don't know if there's any troops. I'm, I'm assuming there's some defensive troops in there. There's got to be, and I don't have that many troops, but we might be able to. We'll see what we can do with it. All right, and last thing. Uh, contested commanderies. Sort by food, public order. Okay, different types of sorting. Gunmen. That's... Oh, I was like, where's the actual town? It's all the way up here. Zhang Yan. Is that the name of the town? No, no. Yan, uh, Yan Men is the name of the town. Building upgrades available. Level 2 town. Income, 88 ducats. Quarter, food. Okay, good. So, let's see here. We could... We don't have enough. We'll be able to raise an army next turn. We could just upgrade. We've got 3,600 ducats in the bank right now. We've got one available food. So, that definitely seems like a holdover from... Shogun 2. You'll have to forgive me. I did not play a lot of Warhammer. I didn't love the game so much, so I didn't spend a lot of time within it. So a lot of my experience is going to be like, okay, so from Shogun 2, so several generations back. Okay, this is my court. Your oh, family is the base of your power. 
Take care of your generals by guiding their progression. I shall. My family tree is just me. And all of these are locked. I have to unlock them later. Okay, thank you very much. Ooh. Diplomacy. Reforms. I don't have access to any reforms yet. But I shall. It's a specific number of turns, I think it is, till you can get one. And I like this one for starters right now. It's uh, pop growth. Records. Oh, this is a... um. Like a time lapse. Information on my treasury. Cool. Alright, so what do we want to do with our town here? We've got a... This UI is really not doing wonders for me. Lumberyard is the one we that we're trying to get to right now. Tower level one. This is a town. So what is what what is this? Building upgrades available. Uh land registry office. Okay, so it's telling me what it is right here. It's not telling me down here. Like this, this it says it's a town. This just says there's building upgrades available. Okay, so focus on peasantry income, 2k population growth, food production income, military construction cost. This, yeah. I think that's a good place to start right there. And we'll process our very first turn after 23 minutes or so. Process is quickly. That's nice to know. Well, at least early game. So let's see what we can do here. Your armies are composed of generals and their retinues. Mm -hmm. A retinue is made up of up to six units. And once a general is recruited, these loyal followers will follow them into battle in service of your cause. Well, let's see what happens here. So our superior forces. Okay, so it's about even number of guys, but these are they look pretty weak. So we could we just wait. We can just try to starve them out. Just to be safe. Although we might take attrition when the winter hits. Yeah, so why don't we Ooh. A collection of flat topped peaks. Wu Tai uh, contains so many monasteries that pilgrims journey from beyond our borders seeking enlightenment. Good to know. We'll actually pass another turn. Second one didn't take quite as long as the first one. That's all right. Oh, they're, and they're coming at me. Uh, well, I think what I'll do is because uh, we got another battle coming here. Protected casualties. Hi, I'll say. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll just keep this uh, uh, nice brief episode today so you guys just get a taste of the game, and then we'll come back tomorrow with the start of this battle. Thank you for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. If you've been enjoying, hit the little bell button, too. That'll ensure you get a little a bloop of a notification when a new video goes live, and I will see all of you next time.